Can I have your name, please? I'm uh, Comrade Stress, the Black Riders Liberation Party. Uh, you were in jail. Why were you in there, and how long were you in jail for? Uh, I was incarcerated up under trumped up charges of conspiracy to run into a police station and attempting to possess the submachine gun. Earlier you were talking about uh, supporting political prisoner. What could people do to support political prisoners? Uh, really, people need to get educated on what they did or what political prisoners are actually uh, being tried still or who has already been sentenced and start sending them letters. Really, as a, a former political prisoner myself, I understand the severity of sending out your love and sending out your thoughts and sending out just your contribution to revolution in that manner. So as long as you support them and send them different information about what's going on out here and the movement out here, then they'll be very appreciated. Anything else besides letter? I heard you guys were doing also court solidarity and stuff. Yes, way? definitely. That's, uh, that's why I ask that people learn which cases are still ongoing and which people have been sentenced because you can also find out where their court cases are and form your own groups to rally about the situation. If you feel passionate enough to do so, then you can do that. You can sit in it in their court sessions and support them in that manner. Uh, what are some community organizing stuff uh, the Black Riders Liberation Party do? Well, uh, as Black Riders, we are the vanguard of the community. So our programs are more so confrontational programs dealing with the patrolling of our community, the political education of young brothers and sisters amongst them, especially in most uh, certified Bloods and Crips, and dealing with their position as far as black on black violence. You know, our Oh, shit, dude. Our organization is one of the most powerful organizations as far as gang intervention and prevention goes. It, it doesn't get rawer than Black Rocks. How do you guys get Bloods and Crips together? Well, they just, they already have a, a form of unity that is amongst their own tribes, but we give them the raw and undoctorated truth. We give them the truth about where they came from, how the Black Panthers formed their particular organizations, and how they stand and what they stand as today in today's time. How did the Black Riders start working with the anarchists and stuff? Well, through sharing like ideals and knowing that we need all the support that we possibly can get against destroying this massive beast that is called fascism, we had to work solid in solidarity with all of the uh, organizations and amongst them the anarchists because they have a strong position towards uh, revolution and strong position towards uh, having disdain for the system. How do we bring uh, unity with other groups like different organizations and stuff? Well, we have to understand that solidarity is only amongst those who want solidarity. So those who are not already part of the loop need to get a part of the loop or find out how they can be a part of this movement and what's going on. And if you're not, then you're obviously not interested. Thank you. Thank you.